Hey guys, so today I'm going to be arranging and mixing a drill beat that I made a few days ago. So I got my brand new Akai MPK Mini Mark III and I was using it and I ended up making two beats and I didn't record anything. But I really liked this beat that I made and I wanted to make some content around it so I decided to do this video. Alright, so let's open up the project. I called it spooky because my sister was here when I was making the beat and she said that I was making Halloween music, so yeah. Alright, so let's hear the basic loop that I made. <laughs> So just looking through here, um, I applied some effects to the channels, but nothing crazy. Um, we'll continue the mixing later on. I'd like to start with the arranging because I want to see if I add any new instruments, which would require me to record something new or record a new drum pattern or a new 808 pattern, which I'm probably going to do all of those. So let's get into it. All right. So. Let's see. Jan in this bit. I think I'm gonna add the vocal. Alright, I think I'm just gonna go with the four bar intro. Eight bar verse maybe. I don't really know yet. So I'm going to copy this over and then for the second verse, I'm going to do a 16 bar verse. So let's see. Jen in this bit. change that snare sound, I don't like it.
first verse longer and I'm just gonna let the kick start there. So let's see what we got so far. We got a four bar intro with just the pad. Then we have a 16 bar verse. And in the 16 bar verse, we start off with the pad, a hi-hat and an 808. Then we add the snare for the next four bars. And then we add the kick for the last eight. Um, probably gonna do an 808 switch up right here, like a different pattern. So then we have the chorus. Then we have a similar verse as the first one. It's a little different. Everything starts a little earlier. Um, and then we have the chorus again. Let's double the chorus here. Actually, no. So how long is it here? 132. So we're gonna do a third verse. Let's change it up a little bit. No 808. Let's do hi-hat and snare. So at the end, we're going to do <clears throat> double the chorus. We'll do a fade out. So we'll do the chorus four times. All right, so that's pretty much the arrangement. Now I'm going to record a different 808. So I want to make the pitch glide a little bit, so I'm going to go to pitch bend and raise that. So I just added that new 808 pattern to the end of the first verse, the end of the second verse. And then for the last chorus, which is four times, I added it on the last four bars of each one, except for the last one. Because that one isn't going anywhere, it's the ending. So I don't want it to have like all those slides. I just want it to be, I want it to end. So yeah. <laughs> so let me think about the hi-hats now. Okay, I can definitely add some stutters to the hi-hats for the chorus part. Put on 32. Thank you. 
kick as well it's just repeating the whole time I don't want it to do that Thank you. 
Alright, so I added that kick to all of the hooks and then on the verses as well, which is only like a couple bars. And then the last four bars of the verse is going to be that original kick. I think I'm going to add a pad to this, so let me go in alchemy. I want like an analog pad. just to do a little teaser. I'm gonna do the mixing now. So I'm just gonna select the chorus. Actually the last chorus since it's the most busy one. Actually, I forgot, I wanted to add risers. Okay, so now I'm gonna start mixing. So, um, let's go ahead and go to the chorus, like I said. All right, I'm gonna mute everything. I'm gonna start with my pads. So I'm always looking at the levels. Um, I'm gonna mix these at the same time. So I'm looking at each of their volume levels and then their combined output, just to keep it in mind. Liking these levels. I think I'm gonna pan the arpeggiated pad out to the right a lot, and then this other pad a little less. Has some flanger on it. I think I'm gonna just add a chorus to get it a little bit wider. It's already panned to the left. I'm gonna increase the volume a little bit. The snare, I added an EQ. I uh, 
cut out all the lows and added a little bit of saturation which i'm going to increase <laughs> kick I'm gonna add a little bit of Diablo by Cymatics So since these uh, this vocal doesn't have a lot going on, I'm gonna add a tremolo to it, so I could go to the left and to the right. I'm gonna add a tremolo to that pad as well. I don't want it to stay in the middle. Let's export this. So yeah, I think that's basically it for the arranging and mixing of this beat. It will be up on BeatStars. The link will be down in the description. The preview will be at the end as always. And I'll also be posting it on TikTok and IG. Let me know what you guys think of the video in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, and it's big.